Hey guys, we are pulling up to the guilt-free gluten. Hey guys, it is Transitioning Beauty here. We are going to take a little bit of time today to try some guilt-free gluten. Now I've heard of this place in Las Vegas, but I wasn't sure what it really was. Um, so basically it's for a place, it's a place for people who are like gluten free it also has diets to complement people who are vegan and vegetarian so we are going to dive right into this guys i'm not gonna keep you long like i usually do oh my goodness there is so much juices and sauces in here i don't know how i'm gonna show you this okay well i'll i I'll, I'll turn you down towards me. Oh my gosh, there's sauce everywhere. Oh, be careful what you touch, girl. Be careful what you touch. All right, guys, this is the food. Okay, and I'm going to open it. Oh, it's going to make a mess. I don't know why they put too much sauce. I never thought I'd say there's too much, but when you can't even close it and I'm making a mess sauces are going all over my jacket then it's a problem okay it's a problem all right now so you can get a better look all right guys let's dive in here is the smoothie haven't tasted it I requested a tropical tropical colada or something like that could be wrong a little bit but I asked them to make it super duper duper thick that i can barely get it through the shop mm. it's okay you can tell like there's some coconuts or almond in there and like a dummy i'm putting you guys right back let's just taste this thing because it's making a mess everywhere oh this is such like an inconvenience. Oh, this is way too messy. Like it's getting everywhere and I haven't even taken a bite yet. Like I can't get to the spoon without spilling some here. I can't get to the napkins without spilling some here. It's my first time here. So far no bueno, okay? Sauce is spilling everywhere. I hope it's not on my lap once I get up, but okay. I don't even know if I can hold it. It's so overflown right now. I can't even hold it to show you guys. But um, let's take a bite. So this is the tofu. Okay. And it's fried. Mmm. Just so you can see inside. Why? Mmm. Okay, flavor is definitely there. Onion. Mmm. I'm gonna try and lift it. Hopefully, I don't make a mess, but I think it would just be better if you can see, you know? I'm trying to please you, the people. Okay. So it's very saucy. I didn't ask them, but this is spicy. Which is fine, because I love spicy. Mmm. I don't love the smoothie, but it's right up there, like an 8.5. I think only because I'm not used to whatever other fresh ingredients they put in there. Like it tastes like a, like almonds blended. Mm. So the tofu. Mmm. This is delicious.
this is so pretty this looks like something you would eat in hawaii or maui mm. i love this sauce it's gonna all over my phone that's all right i do this for you the people and if i just try to suck up some of the sauce first then i'd be able to show you guys better but i got to drink up some of this sauce because whenever i tilt it i'm getting there though okay this is so good this is so good they asked me if i wanted seared tofu or fried And when I think of seared, I think of those little vegetables on the grill. So realistically, I wasn't sure of, like how that would taste, how long it would take. You know, I'm trying to shorten these. This is so, so good. Mm. This is a lot though. I'm glad I didn't order any sides. It's a little spicy to get my nose run, but that's okay. Whew. Spicy in a good way, but Thank God I didn't order any size. This is a lot. I can try to continue this once I get home, but oh, this is so messy. This is oh something you need to dine in and eat or eat when you're once you're home because this is a lot um it's really really messy at least you get your money's worth you know so that's great but i don't like that it's so messy um because i wasn't prepared for it so i hope nothing's on my pants thank god god is with me <laughs> and then have this smoothie Alright guys, I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, I am back. It was just way too messy to eat in the car, so I'm finally home. I'm gonna eat inside. We're just gonna pick up where I left off. Of course, this movie's done because it could have melted, so I had to finish it. But it was pretty pretty good. Um Again, this is still really messy. Ooh. And like where you see all here, like it was literally dripping everywhere. So I wish they didn't overfill it. It's no problem to have a lot of sauce. And if you do have a lot of sauce, please have proper packaging for it. Okay. And tofu's absorbed a lot of sores. Mm. It had a lot more sauce than this, but leaving it in your vehicle with the cover on made it all absorb in the tofu. Mmm. It's good though.
and I think it might actually be Le Dai Du, which has been my favorite so far, I think. Skinny Bounce was good, but this is like next level, and you can see they put their time and effort. And it's like the size of a mom and pop shop. It's not super fancy like a restaurant. And I think that was another thing I mentioned. That's why mom and pop shops take like their flavor and taste so seriously because, you know, their customers are everything versus a restaurant. that's well known or fast food chain you know mm. and they made it so quick which makes me think and no one can tell me different I don't care it tastes like it was marinated overnight and then it, there's like a big pot of it right and then when people like me come in who want the tofu then you already have your base which is the onions the broccoli all this flavor seasoning everything you just marinate and then you just add that on top mm. But it tastes like before they even did that, they cooked everything separately, like the onions. Like before you've been marinating it, everything has its like own flavor. And that may sound simple, but like every, every different thing in here tastes like, ooh, tastes like someone took the time out to give it its own seasoning. Mm. And my cat's pissed because he can hear me talking to someone. And if you've watched my other videos, you know whenever he thinks he hears me talking to someone, he starts to cry. So. I see my princess coming. I apologize if she gets on camera. My princess, uh, uh, leave it alone. Thank you, mama. Peter, do not come up here, please. I'm going to take my vitamins, my biotin, and my iron. Okay. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Is it yours? No. So don't mess with it. But I'm telling you, it was so much sauce in here. It was uh, like dripping out of the container. Mm. And I actually did like that smoothie. It was just, I had a different taste because I've never had like crushed in my smoothie and it tasted like just raw fresh coconut like just blended up a little not the the coconut milk or you know that that coconut stuff that's in the can that's creamy it was like fresh and even like some of the bark was in it but it tasted really good I want to know how everyone's doing. How's everyone's life going? What you look forward to? 
on your life and in this channel. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share one of my videos with any of your friends so we can build a stronger community and I can focus more into the beauty aspect. Okay, so the reason I chose to start doing vegan muffins is because if I only focus on the surgeries, then I'll give you videos every so often. And this is the only way that I thought wouldn't be super financially draining as well. I could pump like two to three videos per week if I wanted to, you know? And it's beneficial to me because I'm getting to know Vegas better. There's a lot of places I've never tried. And there just aren't any vegan mukbangs. Also, when you come to Vegas, you're already on a strict diet. It's like, oh, how do you find a place that's gluten free? How do you place that's vegan? How do you find a place that's vegetarian? You know, when you have those specific dietary restrictions, for those of you who do, I can really take the fun out of traveling and enjoying yourself. I love this tofu. Still nice and white in the room. Let's take some sauce, drizzle it. See that juicy carrot? Mm. 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 So juicy. Okay, so as you guys know, I really wanted to do the chin implant. But then when I look at the chin implant that I'm going for, for the drastic look I want, people are telling me that's filler and chin implants can't achieve that drastic look. But then I'm being told, oh, get the chin implant and do filler. Listen, 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 listen. The reason I got rhinoplasty, mm. oh, excuse me, is one, even if my nose was the way I wanted it, and I wanted just to add a little bridge. I'm not gonna keep sticking myself in the face with fillers. Two, I don't think fillers belong in your face besides your lips, that's it. And not even permanent fillers, I feel, believe in uh, belong in your lips. Like I get some people who use Botox and things like that, but I don't think Botox and fillers belong in your face unless it's your lips. I, I just I just don't think it's a good idea, especially longevity. It looks like you look at so many women and you don't say she's beautiful and you're like, ooh, girl, who did your cheeks? Like, no. All right, guys. Well, this is all of it. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. The smoothie was delish. I definitely recommend this place 10 out of 10. If you've never gone, check it out. The people are extremely nice and helpful on the phone. I called before I got there because I didn't feel like waiting. Plus, I was in a time crunch. Um, people were very nice. Parking was a little bit hard, but definitely had parking. Um, 
And if you're unsure about what to order, it's your first time, there are very helpful people who are on the phone to help you and the people inside as well, very helpful. If they're running behind, they know how to let you know respectfully, kindly, and considerately. So yeah, I recommend the glutton, the gluten glutton, gluten free, you know what I mean. All right guys, thank you so much. Thank you all new subscribers. I see you and I appreciate you. And I can't wait to wow you and amaze you with these upcoming weeks and what I have in store for you. Again, feel free to comment things you want to see on this channel. Don't think just because it's like, oh, you've been seeing um, food and like surgeries that I may not do this or that. Like, come on, I want us to be a community and like have fun and I'm gonna try to find a way to get this food out of my teeth. But thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.